Good afternoon, Cross Timbers, and happy Valentine's Day. Today is Tuesday, February 14, 2017. I am Quinesia Fraser. And I am Emily Parker. North Korea is testing missiles. And the Texans come in with another win, defeating Angelo State on Saturday. Coming up next on Texan TV. In Campus News, Tarleton is celebrating its 100th annual Library Lovers Week. Every February, Tarleton libraries, as well as other libraries across the nation, celebrate library love to remind their users to consider and celebrate library resources and services. In honor of Library Lovers Week, Dick Smith Library invites all of its users to stop by for free buttons, candy kisses, theme displays, and to share your comments about why you love libraries. In local news, according to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, an Erath County lawman gunned down by a horse thief more than 100 years ago will soon be honored with a statue on the historic Erath County Courthouse Square. James Maston was an Erath County Sheriff who was killed in action on June 21, 1877. Maston was fatally shot in the head by Bonaparte Bone Wilson when he and his deputy went to arrest Wilson for horse theft. Wilson escaped, but was eventually killed in a gunfight after being found by a group of Texas Rangers. Kenneth Leatherwood delivered the proposal, explaining that funds needed for the monument have been raised, so no county funds are requested. After County Judge Tab Thompson stated his approval for the monument, commissioners voted and approved for the monument to be put up. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. In Texas news, a 33-year-old man was shot by a police officer in Bryan after holding a cell phone mistaken for a firearm. Bryan police say that the man displayed threatening behavior. Officers responded to a disturbance call on Sunday and were speaking with a woman when they were approached by the man. According to Bryan police, the man disregarded commands from the officers and conveyed that he was armed. They said that the man pulled a black object from his back pocket and took a shooting stance, pointing the object at an officer. The officer fired several shots at the man, wounding him. It was eventually discovered that the black object was a cell phone. The officer was placed on administrative leave pending investigation, and the suspect is currently hospitalized in stable condition. In national news, a massive reservoir in Oroville, California, was found with a hole in the emergency spillway, threatening to release a 30-foot wall of water this past Monday. This threat emerged after weeks of rain and snow falling and filling up the dam. 200,000 people were evacuated without being informed of how long they would need to leave. When Butte County Sheriff Corny Honeo was asked about returning, he could not give an estimate on when people would be able to return home. But he said he was working on a repopulation plan to let residents return to the least risky areas. The acting head of the state's Department of Water Resources, Bill Croyle, said he was unaware of any safety issues within the dam. However, in 2005, a report reinforcing the earthen emergency spillway with concrete. While environmental groups raised concern on the matter, they were dismissed by state and federal officials. The Department of Water Resources estimated repair costs last week at $100 million. Governor Jerry Brown requ requested federal assistance from the president. U.S. Senators Dianne Feinstein and Kamala Harris called on President Donald Trump to provide $162.3 million to assist with repairing the dam issues. There has not been any update on the incident that occurred on Monday. In international news, North Korea is once again testing nuclear and missile launches, scaring the United Nations Security Council. This Saturday, Pyongyang, North Korean capital, also tested missiles, October 19th of this year. Those launchings were also condemned by the council, saying it was in violation of UN sanctions and would lead to higher tensions. The latest missile testing is seen as a direct challenge to President Donald Trump's statement about dealing very strongly with North Korea. UN Ambassador Nikki Haley says it's time to hold North Korea accountable, claiming that this must be done with action, not just words. For more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. There was a big overnight shakeup for the Trump administration as National Security Advisor Michael Flynn resigned. He's 
been facing questions over his dealings with Russia. Steve Mnuchin was sworn in as Treasury Secretary after he won approval from a divided Senate. Republicans praised his long tenure in finance, while Democrats say he ran a foreclosure machine. California Governor Jerry Brown is asking for federal assistance to deal with the potential failure of a spillway at the Oroville Dam. Nearly 200,000 people in three counties were told to evacuate out of concerns of what could become a devastating flood. And dogs are having their day in New York City with the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show underway. The event ends Tuesday night when the winning dog is named Best in Show. Sandy Kozell, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. In sports from TarletonSports.com, the number 11th ranked Texan basketball team gained another win after defeating Angelo State University Saturday, 76-67, and the Texan basketball team beat the Rams 79-77. The Charlton basketball team will continue to travel to Commerce this Thursday to continue their seasons. The baseball team has started off their season with a 4-1 record after defeating St. Mary's on Saturday, and now the Texan baseball team travels to Houston this Friday. The Texan softball team topped Northwestern Oklahoma to give Haley Freeman her 50th career win as a Texan pitcher. The Texans will hit the road Friday to play Texas A&M Commerce at 6 p.m. The golf team is currently sitting in fourth place after the first round of the Lady Rattler Invitational. The weather for today is brought to you by the National Weather Service. Today's high will be in the mid-40s with winds reaching 15 to 20 miles per hour. Heavy rains are forecast for the morning and should lighten up throughout the day. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of Texan News Service from the Charleston State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in to Northland Cable Channel 9. And you can follow us on the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter. And check out our website at www.texannews.net for all your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Haley Watson, Austin Farrar, and Matt Hill. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful day, day Texans. Texans. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Sodexo at Tarleton State University. If you haven't picked up anything for your Valentine yet today, fear not. Sodexo has you covered. Hey Texans, this Valentine's Day, get your significant other a special gift basket with us here at Sodexo. We have baskets with prices ranging from $29.99 to $89.99 with gifts like bath bombs, chocolates, spa towers, and more. With the baskets, we offer free delivery on campus only, so all you have to worry about is who to give the baskets to and what baskets to choose. We are also selling sparkling red Valentine's Day Yetis. We accept cash, credit cards, and dining dollars. Call the dining office at 968-9445 or visit our website at m tarleton sodexomyway.com. You can also visit any of our retail locations for more information on these wonderful gifts. You don't want to miss out on this Valentine's Day special.